preparing for Active Directory, Exchange, and Link. We need to create a download directory to do all of our installs with. We want to put in it Windows 2008 R2, Exchange 2010 Prerex, Exchange 2010, Link 2010 Prerex, and Link 2010. These are a combination of executables and ISOs. The install guide goes into the location of these. In Hyper-V settings, I've set up a virtual network one. I've tied it to the network card. I have three network cards in this machine. The Intel card is dedicated to the host machine. And then the second network card is dedicated to the four virtual servers that I'm going to set up. I have unchecked allow management operating system to share this network adapter. I've done that because I have the two different network cards that I can use. I've gone to Hyper-V settings and I've set up D Hyper-V virtual hard disks as the default and D Hyper-V is the spot for virtual machines. I've configured four virtual servers with certain amounts of memory that are specified in the install guide. I've tied those servers to virtual network one I've set the automatic start action to restart if previously running, and I've set the automatic stop action to shut down. The first virtual machine I have set up is vserve1, that's our domain controller, which is at 10.0.1.201. Then have vserve2, which is our exchange server, which I have available at 10.0.1.202. I have vserve3, which is our link front edge front end server which is available at 10.0.1.203 and I have vserve4 which is our link access edge server and I have that at 10.0.1.204 I've done Windows updates on all of these machines turned the UAC off set the firewall to be off and turned Internet Explorer enhanced security to be off I then set the clocks and I set the name in Windows for each of the servers to match up with their virtual server name. I then took a snapshot so that I can roll back if necessary and I did a snapshot of each one of these machines. I signed up for an IntelliPeer SIP trunk which takes about two weeks to be commissioned. I asked them for five DIDs which are phone numbers, one for the Exchange Auto Attendant, one for Exchange Subscriber Access, one for link conference calling, one for a link hunt group, and one that is shared among all of my users. If you want your users, instead of having a shared phone number, to have a unique phone number each, you need to register for those extra IDs. I've asked IntelliPeer to enable NATing on my SIP trunk. We're In our demos we're using a SonicWall firewall and all of the machines are NATed, and so you have to enable NATing with IntelliPeer. And I've asked them to drop the plus one from the normalized phone number. That's only necessary if you're using a single number for a bunch of users. So if it's a shared phone number. If you're not going to do that, you don't need to ask IntelliPeer to drop the plus one. We're going to buy two certificates, one for exchange and one for link and the details of those certificates are laid out in videos that follow.